Christy, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using several different Lawn Fawn sets. I'm using Meow You Doing, Keep On Swimming, Critters at the Dog Park, Wheelie Like You, and Critters on the Farm. So I've stamped my images out on some Nina Solar White cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers. I'm starting with my cat, and for her I'm using C0, C1, and C3. I wanted her to be like a super pale gray, so I'm starting with that C3, but I'm just using it real sparingly on some areas where I feel like there would be a shadow, so alongside her back and on the underside of her legs and along the inside of her tail, and then a little bit to uh, round out her face. And then I'm blending that out with the C1. And then I'm going to take this C0 and I'm going to just soften up that line and bring that color toward the center. I'm not going to fill it in completely. I'm actually going to grab my colorless blender and just soften up those lines and let that fade off into white. And after I've given that a few seconds to dry, I'm going to come back in with my C3 and add some stripes. Now if I did this too quick, they would have just kind of faded out because the uh, ink was too wet. So you do have to give a little bit of drying time in between if you want those lines to be distinct. For the goldfish, I'm using YR04, YR07, and YR09 started with the YR09 in my shadowed areas and then I'm blending out with the YR07 and then I'll fill in the majority with that YR04. For the mouse, I'm using W1, W3, and W5. I'm switching to warm grays because I wanted each of these animals to be distinct from one another. So I didn't want to use the same cool grays that I used on the cat, so I just switched it up since I only have the warm and cool grays. So I just colored him darkest to lightest as well. Then for the little guinea pig, I'm using E23, E25, and E27 for most of him, adding some shadowed areas with that E27, and then blending out with the E25. And then I'm going to add a little E23. I'm coloring this guy to look like a guinea pig that we used to have. His name was Cosmo. And he was mostly chocolate brown with kind of a caramel colored patch on his back. So for that part, I'm using YR21 and YR23. And I'm using that YR21 to help blend into the E23. And just kind of soften that up. Then I'm going on to my little dachshund, and for that I'm using E13, E15, and E17. I wanted him to be that kind of traditional uh, copper colored uh, shade that you often see doxies in. So I started with the E17 as my shadowed color, and then I'm adding some E15 as my midtone. Just blending up toward the top where the sun would hit the most. So that will be my area for the highlight. And also I did put a little shadow underneath his ears. And then I'm going to fill in all the rest of him with that E13. So he has that copper penny type um, coat. I'll go back over any harsh lines and then I'll bring in the E27 for his nose. I'm also going to grab the R20 to color in the kitty's nose and give her some rosy cheeks. And I decided to give each of the animals some rosy cheeks. It doesn't show up that well on all of them, but it helps a little bit to just make them look a little more cheerful. Then for the fish bowl, I'm going to outline the glass with the BG70 just to give it a little bit of shade. Then I'm going to take the BG10 and draw my waterline. Just make sure that I have that at the angle that I want it, and then I can fill in all the rest from that line down. I'm just going to add a little bit of a heavier color at the top, um, and then I decided to also go in with the BG11 just to darken that on one side and give it some movement. 
And then I will take a Sakura white jelly roll pen and just give it a shine mark on the left hand side. And then I'll trim all of these images out with the matching dies. I've cut down a piece of thin white cardstock with the outside in stitch rectangle stackables. And then I'm going to adhere two pieces of cardstock down to that. I started with my glue tube, but it was empty, so I switched back to my uh, usual Tombow Mono Multi. So I'm using the uh, blue and gold pattern for the wallpaper of my scene, and then the gold plaid is going to be the floor. And then I've got just a piece of white cardstock that I'm going to add across the center, and that's going to be my baseboard. I'm going to take one of the windows from the Build a House die set and I'm going to cut out a little hole in my wall and then I've got a piece of gray cardstock to put behind that. Um, the darkest that I had was Narwhal. It wasn't quite dark enough for what I wanted but I didn't want stark black so I just colored over that with a warm gray Copic marker and I'm going to glue that behind just around the edges so that I can slip my little mouse inside the mouse hole. And I think he looks super cute in there. I've added foam tape to the rest of my critters and my fish bowl. So I'm going to take the little fish and get him placed where I want him on the card. I want him to look like he's jumping out of the bowl. So I'm going to tip that a little bit to the left and then I'll add my little kitty so he's kind of uh, playing with that fish bowl which is causing the fish to jump out. I did uh, stamp and fussy cut out a little splash mark from Lovable Legends and then I'm going to add my little doxy down towards the bottom right and he's going to be chasing the guinea pig. So everybody's having fun and getting into mischief while the people are away. For my sentiment, I'm going to stamp in Lawn Fawn's Hippo Ink onto some white cardstock. And I'm using the sentiment that says, let's be friends forever. And I had a little blob on one of the letters that I didn't like, so I just cleaned off my stamp with my stamp chamois and dried that off with the palm of my hand and re-stamped that and that was perfect. I just needed to stamp it twice so it was nice and bold. Then while I have my Misty out, I'm also going to stamp on the inside of my card. I like to batch do things like that so it just saves some time. I'm using Lawn Fawn's Mermaid cardstock and Merman ink and I'm stamping out a whole bunch of the little sentiments from Critter Chatter Pets. And then at the bottom, I'm also using the translation, thanks, I appreciate you, um, just to kind of uh, tie in with all of those little uh, animal sounds. I've trimmed down my sentiment with an Everyday Sentiments banner, and I'm going to line that up where I want it on the card, and then I'll flip that over and trim off the overhang. And then I'll add a little piece of foam tape to the back of that so it's also on the same level as all the critters. And I'm going to add that on the right hand side. Then I'll take my liquid glue once again and just adhere this panel to the front of the card. And I love how that mermaid cardstock just ties in so beautifully with those pattern papers. Those were from an older Lawn Fawn set. I believe it was called Perfectly Plaid. I think that might have been the first one. I actually got these loose in my latest Lawn Fawn order. So I just thought I'd go ahead and use them on the card. I thought the colors were really pretty and went well with the little pets. And that is going to complete my card for today. There's another peek at the inside and an up-close look at all that detail. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I think those pets look like they are having a blast playing together. So hopefully you guys had fun watching too. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, your support means the world. You can also leave me a comment down below. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. Um, here's two extra videos I thought you might also be interested in, so feel free to check out either one of those, and I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Bye-bye.